Welcome to the shop. Yes, I'm out here. Got my sign hung up. It's been hung up for a few days and it's keeping real good time. I'll show you here. If you saw that quick enough. So now I just need to find some letters that'll fit that. I gotta measure that, measure those grooves and see uh, if I can find some letters. What else has been going on? Well, I did a little bit of off-camera work. I put the light bar on, got that situated. I have to trim, had to trim a little bit off the heads of the fin, <laughs> the fins of the head to get the light bar to work right and still have the hood lined up. No big deal there. Just took just a tiny bit off. And then we got the seat mounted and it's very securely mounted with four bolts not that you need to see them but seats going nowhere it'll come back off to get painted obviously but um, as far as being a functional tractor triple x v2 is good to go that's what i've been working on today i haven't been out here for very long and my time out here in the shop is kept short mainly because of this thing right up here so that's where I hope that I get the forgiveness from you guys no pity just forgiveness uh, I did do something else here let's go ahead and open that up is that on there right yep okay um, ordered lights and replaced that bad light and I've got one spare underneath the seat in the trunk over there uh, I've yet to install the legacy lenses and their pigtails, but I suppose we can check and see if we're going to have to replace those bulbs. Squeak. Let's just do a real quick check here and see if we've got power going to, uh, that's a bad battery. That's a good battery. Let's get some test leads. You guys are just going to wander around with me today really um there's nothing really planned for the day other than uh me doing some measuring trying to get a game plan on getting zippo's green giant moved over where the craftsman is so let's get plus on plus are we in view yeah we're in view okay plus on plus we've got plus here and we'll get our negative on here, get the negative on. And we should have a little light up light bulb. I'm not seeing a light up light bulb. And it is possible that this battery is dead though. So um, let me pop that out and pop it back in. Just to make sure. There we go got one working let's pop this one out I'll just do the same thing here make sure that this one's working I do have one working tail light but there we go I have one working tail light but one was missing that pigtail and uh, my buddy frog went ahead and sent me uh, both the lights I mean I paid for them but he sent me uh, both of the light lenses this one has a small crack in it but the one out there on the legacy has a big chip out of it uh, and they're identical they're the same left and right which kind of surprised me a little bit I was like oh so it doesn't matter which one I use um, and then the got these brackets and I'll see where those brackets go when I go to take those other lenses out I assume they just hold tension um, because there's four of them I assume that they just go down over like that and then just hold tension against the back side of the frame that would be my guess so and I've got all four of those on the legacy right now or my lenses wouldn't be in place so we've got those uh let me go take a look i did mention over on uh, mix mowers that uh 
I picked something up, or rather something was gifted to me, which was super, super generous because they are, they don't, they don't come cheap. Uh, and that is about to be, oops, come on. Yeah, like I said, you guys are just going to walk around with me as I make sure I clean up my messes after I make them. And I'll come back and get these wires bundled up and put back. But uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm going legit. Right there, you see it? Rotary blade grinder. And it works in both directions so you can set the blade left and right. Uh, I'm going to look into getting a new stone, hopefully another Norton stone. Um, but this stone will work for the time being. I'm going to redress it so that it's uh, a little bit more correct. But, um, you know, push switch left, it goes left. Well, you push switch left and it goes right. But, and then, by the way. So, as you can see, it works just fine. Ramps up to nice good speed. Uh, very, very blessed to have this uh, in my care. And, of course, that this came with a promise that I will sharpen every single blade of my buddy Larry. Uh, then he also had this. Uh, it's a puller, but the neat thing about this puller is it has this wedge that will come down and allow you to cinch the jaws i don't know if you guys have used regular uh gear and pulley pullers on the drawer ouch quit using your left shoulder dum dum okay like these well they have a tendency once you get so much tension on them they want to spread out and let go well that one over there will help prevent that insert applications where it will fit so well, I guess we could go ahead and put it away I'm switching hands we can go ahead and put it down there uh, got a couple other things what else did I get uh, oh a couple of uh, 16 inch steel pico chains uh, that were new in the box Are they 16 or 14 they might be 14 where to hang them? I hung them up. They're 14 inch. They're right here. Right there. They're Pico blades. And then uh, an igniter. And it's entirely possible that that igniter will fit this 150,000 BTU master. Um, it was at a rental company. Rental company's defunct. Uh, when I plugged it in, it blew like a couple mice and a mouse nest out. So it, it desperately needs cleaned up. Um, it has kerosene in it, aged, aged kerosene. So we'll be getting all that out of there. I just wanted to see if it was going to do anything at all. And it did. So, uh, and then this one will be returned to its owner, who just happens to be Miss Zippo. And yeah, we've got the wood stove going. We've got a little bit of chill in the air here. So with the wood stove comes my... I, did, I didn't get rid of that fan blowing across this big piece of cast iron as a heat sink. Because I'm getting exhaust heat here. And I'm getting actual stove heat here blown out. And then up here is a circulating fan that I found in the back of a 49 Plymouth. I've told that story many times before. But I don't remember if I've gone over the plan. Uh, the plan is to relocate this box and that air compressor and or take just that box off to give me the room to fit Zippo's Green Giant and the air compressor in this one spot. Uh, measurement wise I am not sure uh, if we're going to make it so let's let me get you guys clamped down somewhere I'll make sure that you can see what we're doing
Yeah, it should be good enough. I'm going to be going from the end of the workbench to the end of the workbench and measure my overall. Then I'm going to go measure Zippo's Green Giant. Do a little bit of quick math and see if I can keep the air compressor over here. Be advantageous to me only because I've already got all of my lines run for this air compressor to piggyback into my host 26 gallon host tank and um, to run up to my overhead reel hose reel. Uh, it won't be a, wouldn't be a major undertaking to have to redo everything and put the air compressor let the air compressor follow this tool cabinet but just an inconvenience so if I can avoid it I'm gonna try to avoid it let's see what we have here for an overall all right go from here to here and we are just under six feet total so let's go measure Zippo's green giant Oh, and Miss Zippo uh, loaned me a label maker too, so I'll be able to label everything. Let's see what we have here. We've got 41. So with 41, I have an additional. Oh, I went too far. 70, up to 70 inches. So 41 and 70. Is 39 inches, right? I'm gonna do them at 29 inches. 41 and 70. 29 inches. So let's go measure just from here. Okay, 29 inches stops right there. So if I just remove this, and I can relocate this somewhere else, if I just remove that, then I can leave the air compressor, I just have to move the air compressor over a little bit. Uh, well, then comes the problem, where is my most used grinder gonna go? Where is the blade grinder gonna go? Where is this Craftsman grinder gonna go that still is not in use and all of that is sorta of, kinda planned out um, you guys can see underneath that box right there is my valve resurfacer, my Van Wert valve resurfacer the small workbench that has the Vanguard on it and the light bar I could use that for all of that and just put casters on the bottom and I have casters um, that would also allow me to take this drawer that's in it completely out and put that cabinet under it so that I would retain the use of that cabinet and then because this cabinet has all of my stones and whatnot in it for uh, my grinders so that may be the route that we go Obviously, this little blue uh, millwright cabinet is too small to do what I need it to do. Although it does have a lift-up shelf, and it's already got casters on it, so that may end up being what gets used to put the blade grinder, the five-dollar garage sale grinder, and possibly that grinder or a vise on so that's what we're looking at and I want to get that area cleared out so if I end up not using that workbench it's going to go away I'm just going to get rid of it but Zippo's Green Giant has got to go over here because as I've shown in previous videos it busting at the seams everything is well organized but it's still just busting at the seams um, and I'm just about to outgrow this thing. Uh, so what I'm thinking about doing is getting a side cabinet and mounting a side cabinet to this side so that I've got more drawer space over here, just a little one. 
and that would alleviate my storage issue because I keep coming up with more and more tools that I need at the ready to uh, work on stuffs and then I can just mount the shelf on the other side of the uh, cabinet I'm going to have to do some measuring on that too so a bunch of measuring, a bunch of figuring, a bunch of planning i got a phone ringing in my pocket here I'll catch you guys in just a minute so sorry about that it was uh, actually the surgery center calling to pre-register me for my surgery on the 28th so I had to take the call okay uh, we were talking about doing all that this TV has got to go to uh, 65 inch plasma uh, with a bad board and the thing weighs about a hundred pounds seriously a hundred pounds it's an older one 2006 model it's got to go uh, I got a lot of stuff that's got to go um, I do have room here that I can play with if need be I can move this truck bed box out from this position and put it somewhere else if I have to but I'm pretty sure I can get all my machinist tools into the Craftsman toolbox without the need of a secondary uh, machinist box. Uh, which I should also be able to unload this box, which I've shown this box before, but it warrants showing it to you again. It is chock full of valve cutting goodies and we have a McDonald's sack full of hardened valve seats so pretty cool to have that um, but I'm pretty sure all of this can uh, that's a Kennedy box I'll be darned um, sorry it doesn't want to line up come on behave and then, like I say, the bottom drawer of that, you can just see the tan there. Bottom, the drawer that's in that will get uh, removed. And it has a number of machinist tools in it, which again, should still fit in the Craftsman box. Um, and I will have no problem at all fitting everything in that Craftsman box in Zippo's Green Giant with plenty of room to spare plenty of room to spare so well, that's the plan not going to happen before the surgery uh, that'll be a project that I can undertake one handed and just set up a couple of tables out here and unload Zippo's Green Giant and get it out of its current home and fortunately everything's on wheels over here even my uh, cart well, the ladder's not on wheels. The wheels are on wheels, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't know what else I've got really going on. Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit tired. I've been out here for quite a while. Like I said, we've got Triple uh, X V2. Uh, fairly well. To the point where you know I, I can start it up and move it and not worry about flying off the back of it or anything like that uh, the running boards still need to be cut down that may happen before surgery uh, we're forget what today's date is what's today's date is it the 13th i think so we may be able to uh may be able to get those running boards whacked off before surgery comes into play and somewhere I think I already mentioned somewhere I do have that's for the parking brake I do have uh, the lever for that and also I want to thank uh, the gentleman I apologize I do not remember your name um, who told me about I believe this bushing right here and making sure that it was copacetic with everything so that uh, 
the shift, uh, the moving the lever wasn't so hard and all that. And I still have a lot of lubricating to do here too. So thank you to him. You know who you are. And to all of my friends and all of my new subscribers, I welcome you and I thank you. Uh, and I appreciate your guys' patience uh, on uh, waiting for me to get my, I can't say get my feet back under me. For once, my feet are fine. Uh, for getting, um, getting my health back in order. It's, I suppose I can turn it around. It's not a... Uh, well, why don't you look at it one more time? It's not a huge surgery. It 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 just is what it is. Um, it, it's an inconvenience, but I wanted to get it done in the winter time, so that uh, I wouldn't have to. I suppose I could step away from the fan, so you're not having to hear that. Um, it's just an inconvenience that's going to slow down any projects going on. Uh, over the winter. But I may still be able to get out here and get some stuff done. Especially if I can talk Miss Zippo into coming out with me. Huh? How about that? Alright. Uh, oh, yeah, I do. I'm sorry. I do have one more thing to show you guys. Um, I have three... Dead batteries over here. Uh, it's an old lithium ion, or an old uh, nickel cadmium 19.2. That's deader than a doornail. Uh, would not come back. And then we have this lithium ion that's deader than a doornail. Would not come back. And you guys may remember my pawn shop find uh, of that rigid planer. And that battery is deader than a doornail too so I'll get those disposed of properly but I did order new batteries for the planer and they uh, they're 4 amp hour that's them right there Turn it over so you guys can get the part number if you happen to have any of these rigid tools. Lithium ion rechargeable. 4 amp hour, 72 watt hours, 18 volt. And it's got a uh, power indicator here. And the charger is just fine. I did discover that, which is a good thing. So I'm into the tool and the box and the charger for 35. I'm into the batteries for just under 70 shipped to my door. And we can slide one in right here. You can see we've got power and brand spanking new blades. And now she works. So I don't think that was a bad deal at all. I came into it for just under a hundred and five dollars and if you got you got go, it's nuts go look at these on uh, eBay what they're selling for it's it's crazy used beat up ones with used batteries and for three hundred dollars I don't get that I don't understand that at all but anyway I guess some people think they've got it's got the rigid name on it so that makes it golden but I've not heard the best things about rigid but I, it was on the clearance table I could not pass it up um, so anyway I mean we've got a couple snow blowers in here this one the belt's slipping on so I'm gonna replace the belt on it that's from my buddy Larry that gave me the uh, blade sharpener and I went over to his house two days this past week to uh, today's Monday by the way uh, one, he couldn't get his big John Deere started, so went over and helped him get that taken care of. We got that taken care of. Went home, came back the next day, or two days later, it was Wednesday, and then I went back on Friday and put his King Midget back together. As you guys might have noticed that 
you know, the little box with the fuel shut off that was sitting here has now been replaced by batteries and the carburetor has been replaced by batteries so um, got him all taken care of uh, and I can't tell you how appreciative I am of that blade sharpener now all I gotta do is get a proper blade balancer one of those magnetic types so I guess I'm gonna call it this your friendly neighborhood Zippo if you guys are not already subscribed uh, which 80% of my viewers are not which doesn't make the first bit of sense to me at all subscribe it doesn't cost anything and it doesn't hurt uh, promise you guys I will see you on the next one this is your friendly neighborhood Zippo later I'm out of here